Sir Evan Owen Williams, the 20th of March 1890 to the 23rd of May 1969, was an English engineer and architect known for being the principal engineer for Gravelly Hill Interchange, known popularly as Spaghetti Junction, as well as a number of key modernist buildings, including the Express Building in Manchester and Boots D10 Building in Nottingham. Primarily an engineer, he was not classically trained as an architect but showed an exceptional degree of proficiency with both flair and functionality in his buildings which were considered far ahead of their time during the 1930s. Williams ultimately believed architecture and engineering must be inseparable. <laughs> Career Williams born at 16 Caroline Terrace in Tottenham, London, England, on 20 March 1890. He was the son of Evan Owen Williams, a Welsh-born grocer and Mary Roberts. Originally both farmers, they moved to London some years before Owen was born. Williams had two sisters and two brothers. Mary-Kate died young, but the second born, Elizabeth Maud, became an author. Owen had an older brother, Robert Ozian, who was a successful banker and came out of retirement to manage the finances of his brother's engineering practice which was launched in 1940. Williams attended Tottenham Grammar School and excelled in mathematics. He was apprenticed to the Electrical Tramways Co. in London in 1907 and at the same time did an engineering degree at the University of London. In 1912, Williams assumed a position as engineer and designer with the Trust Concrete Company. Seven years later, he started his own consulting firm, Williams Concrete Structures. He was then appointed Chief Consulting Civil Engineer to the British Empire Exhibition, which included the old Wembley Stadium. The commission also included the Palace of Industry building in Brent, the first building in the United Kingdom to use concrete as the exterior. The building was listed in 1997 in recognition of this but was delisted in 2004 after an appeal by a property developer. Williams was recognized for his achievements and received a knighthood in 1924. Through the exhibition, Williams met its architect, Maxwell Ayrton, and they worked together on the design of Williams's bridges in Scotland. Williams designed his buildings as functional structures sheathed in decorative facades. More an engineer than an architect, he produced a series of reinforced concrete buildings during the period between the wars. After World War II, he worked on developing the first plan for Britain's motorway system. His other works include the Dorchester Hotel, the Boots Pharmaceutical Factory in Beeston, Nottinghamshire, the M1 Motorway and the Pioneer Health Centre in Peckham, South London. In the 1940s the company expanded and became Sir Owen Williams and Partners. This followed the building of the Daily Express Building, Manchester, which Williams designed. Contrary to popular belief, the Manchester building was the only one of the three express buildings which Williams designed, the others in Glasgow and London were designed by Ellis and Clark. Although Williams was more of an engineer than an architect, the express building in Manchester was lauded for its architecture and demonstrated his proficiency as an architect. His nephew is quoted as saying, just fancy Tade taking all that time over the trip to Barnet, when sixty years later his grandson was head of civil engineering for the M1." Owen Williams' grandson, Richard Williams, was chief executive of the Owen Williams Group until its acquisition by Amy in 2006. Topic list of works including bridges 1913-14 resident engineer for Trust Concrete Steel Company at Patent Fuel Works Swansea Docks 1914 to 16 chief estimating engineer Trust Concrete Steel Company 1916-17 assistant aeroplane designer Wells Aviation 1917-18 various ships and slipways pool Dorset 1921 to 24 British Empire exhibition buildings at Wembley Park with Maxwell Arriton included Palace of Industry Building which was listed in 1997 and delisted in 2004. 
1921–24 Wembley Stadium with Maxwell Arriton 1924–25 Lee Valley Viaduct and Bridge with Maxwell Arriton 1924–25 Parc des Attractions, Paris 1924–26 Findhorn Bridge with Maxwell Arriton 1924–27 Road Bridge, Shepherd Lays Wood 1924–29 Bournemouth Pavilion with Home and Night 1925–26 Spey Bridge, Newton Moore, Architect, Maxwell Arriton 1925–26 Krubenmoor and Lock Alvey Bridges, Architect, Maxwell Arriton 1925–26 Duntocker Bridge, Architect, Maxwell Arriton 1925–26 Belfast Water Tower, Northern Ireland 1925–26 Wandsford Bridge, Huntingdonshire with Maxwell Arriton 1926–28 Dalnamian Bridge with Maxwell Arriton 1926–28 Car Bridge demolished with Maxwell Arriton 1926–28 Lockie Bridge with Maxwell Arriton 1927-28 Brora Bridge 1927-28 Clapton Stadium 1927-30 Montrose Bridge 1928-29 Pont Reed Owen Bridge 1928-30 Wadham Road Viaduct 1928-30 Harnham Bridge, Wiltshire 1928-30 Pilkington's Warehouse, London 1929-30 The Dorchester Hotel Proposal 1929-31 Wakefield Bridge 1929 to 31 Lacrid Bridge proposal 1929 to 31 Daily Express London as engineer with architects H O Ellis and Clark 1930 to 32 Boots Packed Wet Goods Factory D10 Building 1931 to 33 Sainsbury's Factory and Warehouse 1932 to 34 Cumberland Garage and Car Park 1933 34 Empire Pool Wembley Park 1933 to 35 Pioneer Health Centre London 1933 to 36 Residential Flats Stanmore 1935 to 37 Provincial Newspaper Office London 1930 to 38 Odom's Printing Works 1935 to 38 Boots Packed Dry Goods Factory D6 Building 1935 to 39 Daily Express Building Manchester 1936 37 Lillian Skinner Office and Warehouse Extension 1936 to 38 Dollis Hill Synagogue 1936 to 39 Scottish Daily Express Building Glasgow 1938 39 Daily News Garage London 1939 to 41 Vickers Armstrong Air Aircraft Factory completed by Oscar Faber and Partners 1944-45 Wilvin Houses 1944-45 Mobile Home 1945-67 Newport By Pass Present Day M4 1950-55 BOAC Maintenance Headquarters Heathrow 1951-59 M1 Motorway Phase 1953-66 Port Talbot By Pass 1954-56 BOAC Wing Hangers Heathrow 1955 to 61 Daily Mirror Building now demolished 1956 to 67 M1 Motorway Phase 2